Seller obligation towards home inspection. This is Such Kellan with the Mega Team Real Estate Geralta. And sellers, I've had a lot of sellers ask me once a buyer conducts an inspection on the property, we bring them the inspection report and the sellers see this 30, 40, 50 page document full of deficiencies and little things wrong with the property. And they're always wondering, Manny, what is my obligation? How do I deal with this? Well, Switch, let me put these things together. When you hire an inspector, they're going to find a fault in your home. That makes sense, yeah. That's their job. Yes. That's where their job to hire. If you are giving five, six hundred, seven hundred dollars somebody to come down in three or four hours to come to your home, they gonna find a fault. Agreed. There's no home is a perfect home out there in the world. It doesn't matter that's brand new or old. That's right. Every seller and every buyer need to be acknowledged. There's no home is a perfect home. Makes sense. It depends on your satisfaction. Okay. Inspection is a piece of documents to give you a peace of mind so you can sleep at night time, good time, say, hey, I'm buying this home. Is this home is a good structure wise or cost wise? It depends. There's a two, I, I can, I can, I'll I put those that repairs into three ways. One is a short time repairs. One is a long time repairs. One is urgent repairs. So when that report comes, right? So let's say the 40, 50, 60 pages and come back and do the report. If you dissect that report very carefully, there are one is a very urgent. That's a red light. Yes. For example, last week, just like you sent me a report, hey, some pump is not working. Yes. Okay. So that some pump is not working. It means that it's if it's a rain. It doesn't matter if a buyer buys a property or not, if the sump pump is not working, your basement can flood it. It's a cause to a big damage towards your insurance. That is small little piece of equipment that's gonna cost you 150 bucks, 250 bucks. That is urgent repair. Yes. That is a necessity. It doesn't matter if the buyer told you, you're lucky that they find out you that's that your sump pump is not working to get those things repaired. That makes sense. Okay. That, that's, that's called short urgent. Short term means, hey, some cosmetic repair, some uh, toilet is loose, hey, the tap is loose, hey, there is a, uh, my, my, my door is not closing, a lock is not working, or small, a window screen is broken, or this hand railing is missing. That is called a small short term repairs, which is acknowledged is a fixable, there's nothing to danger about it, but they're just only acknowledging there. And some of the repairs are long-term uh, repairs. Long-term repairs that, hey, such your property is 20 years old, shingles are already left in 15 years, so now you have to start saving up. Yeah. It's nothing wrong to those, those shingles, but they are reported shingles are near about to go. And then somebody kind of panic, what is, oh my God, my <laughs> shingles are gone. I have to spend another $8,000, $10,000 on it. Yes. The panic about it. Yes. But, but that's a long term. That's right. Same thing with the with the hot water tank. Same thing with the furnace. Same thing with your uh, uh, some siding or so. You know their job, inspector's job, is to identify and give their report to the buyer that hey, you need to aware that shingles already lived their life for 15 years. Save it. Start saving up your your place, and it's gonna need to be replaced. Right. But if the shingles are already leaking water, that's Urgent. urgent. You, yes. That needs to be done and addressed right away. Makes sense. So, so now we already identified what is important. Question your answer when you get a report of 40, 50 pages. Think what is very urgent. Yes. At that point, don't put that. This is a buyer job, but you need to address that uh, urgency to fix right away. Yes. Okay. If it's a leaking roof or some pump is not working That's or your cool. furnace is not working or hot water is not working. Such buyer buys or not buyer, you have to live in home. That's right. Yes. At that point, does buyer kind of bought the home? No. That's right. So my suggestion at this moment, if I sell my property today, my suggestion for all the sellers, okay, spend another four hundred dollar to five hundred dollar pre-listing inspection. Mm. That's gonna give you edge. That's right. Okay. So get done your pre-listing inspection. So there's no surprises. 
So it means you're already aware yeah. before you listed your property. Some of my sellers, we have a five star rating listings. So five star rating listing means they already get their inspection done. They already have a report. They already get those things fixed. Say, hey, minor tab is loose or yes. some pump is not working or this is not. So they, all those repairs are already fixed ahead that time before they list them. On. I see. So then, hey, so it's just gonna come with an uh, offer. My report is coming at the, uh, sitting on the countertop and say, hey, we already got done the um, preliminary uh, inspection. We already fixed all the deficiency, which we have it. There's no headache. Yeah, makes sense. So now your question and answer, typically, what is the obligation of sellers? Yes. There's no obligation, okay? okay? They, it's a part of a negotiation. Okay. If sellers say, hey, I'm sorry, I wanna sell this property in as a condition, it uh, doesn't matter what that property is, it's up to the buyer at this point. Right. They can buy the property in as is condition or they don't. That's right. Okay. You cannot force seller to repair all those things before the buy. I see. So it comes down to the negotiation. Part it's a part of negotiation. You negotiate your contract first. Now you do your due diligence that to get your property inspected. Now you find out that hey, these are things are there. So that inspection could be Five hundred dollars to five thousand yeah. dollars. You need to understand if you are buying this property, if that five thousand dollar is good to invest toward the property and make your home as a dream home. Yes, makes sense. Does it make sense? Yeah. So, what if you sum up all the words I said it to you? What you can say to all the buyers if they are buying on the basis of that inspection report? The biggest thing that I got out of this conversation is the three different categories. Inspection report is going to be a huge document, like we said, 40, 50, 60 pages. But it's up to us as realtors, as well as the buyers and sellers, to be able to translate that document. It comes down to what's urgent, which means it has to be done right away and is very important for the property, versus the smaller short term things that can be cosmetic or just from a convenience standpoint. And then of course the longer term things. The inspection reports are not going to decide that for us. We have to apply some intelligence to figure that out and then address the things case by case that really need to be addressed. That's what I got in this conversation. Fantastic. I totally, totally get that. Done. All the viewers who are watching this video, they can understand. Doesn't matter if they are buyers or they are seller. Hopefully this tip will be helpful for them to make the decision, doesn't matter they're buying side or they're on the selling side. If this tip is more valuable or you think that is a good, please share and distribute it to all the peoples. That's what the value team is all about. But next week, we'll bring you another one of our superstar to ask me another question for the moment. Stay tuned, stay plugged, and see you next week. Oh, by the way, Hit the bell button, subscribe, so we can bring you that same video next week at your inbox. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.